Chair Sutley, uh, we just heard questions from uh, Mr. Huffman with respect to the volunteer nature of the national ocean policy. And I uh, understand what you're saying, although it's, it's interesting that we've, we have great difficulty uh, here on the Hill finding out the details of this, the funding, who's really behind it. Uh, but you say it's just fully voluntary. Now, this all derives from an executive order from the Commander-in-Chief. Are you given the discretion to choose um, whether to follow an executive order? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, as, as part of the executive branch, we endeavor to follow the uh, executive order. Um, and we, uh, as, as we have just released the uh, national well, Ocean excuse policy. me. Okay. It's just a yes or no answer. You don't have to go into a lot of your your you know, your printed contents there. It, it, an executive order is it an order or a suggestion? Must you follow it or not? Uh, we we uh, are yes or no, ma'am. We try to follow executive. You order. try to follow an executive order. Okay. We we must agree that it's not an exec executive suggestion. Yes. It is an executive order from the Commander-in-Chief. Okay, well, let's look at the language. Section 6 of this executive order says, and it's under agency responsibilities, quote, all executive departments, agencies, and offices that are members of the council in any executive department, agency, or office whose actions affect the ocean, our coast, and the Great Lakes shall, word is shall now, it's not maybe, or we highly suggest, or we, we, we request, it uses a very strong legal word, shall, to the fullest extent, consistent with the applicable law, participate in the process for coastal and marine spatial planning, and comply with the council certified coastal and marine spatial plan. Now, if this is voluntary, then why does it say shall, and it's an executive order? Well, the... Uh the, the shell really applies to the federal agencies. Now, these are regional plans that will be developed uh, working with the, uh, the states and the stakeholders in those, in those regions as they, as they choose to participate in this. And so the intent really was to ensure that the federal agencies so it, participate. So any federal agency, any part of the federal government must comply with the requirements of the executive the, order. Now, you're suggesting that states perhaps don't have to. Uh, well, okay, does this uh, allow for any additional regulations? Is this regulatory? It is not regulatory. Okay, and I heard you say that before. But can you change existing regulations? Uh, the the National, Co Na National Ocean Council or, or the National Ocean Policy um, has any authority to change regulations. Uh, all, all, all that authority lies with, with the agencies in their, in, under their existing statutory obligations. Well, then what good is a program in which money is expended from the federal government, all the agencies, all the way from the top down, are ordered to comply, and yet you say at the bottom it's all voluntary. Well, what good is a program or a plan and all that money spent when people don't even have to pay any attention to it? Well, the, uh, we believe it's important for federal agencies to coordinate with each other, uh, even even in a region where uh, the states do not want to participate in a regional. But if the if body. the state uh, chooses to participate, then they're going to have to make somebody do something, right? Well, the, the, the you can't. The otherwise, it's chaos. If nobody complies with it, then what good is the program? So well, my point is, either it's regulatory in a, in its net effect or it's not, and people can do whatever they want. To me, you know, if it, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. And I think that's our problem up here on the Hill, is because this national ocean policy cannot be passed into law, it just isn't accepted up here, and our constituents don't want it, that it's being uh, cast as a voluntary program that everybody's gonna love and embrace uh, that's just really backing into another regulatory process.